Hello everyone, welcome back. Thank you for being here and tuning in. If you're new, welcome to my channel. I'm glad you're here and I hope you find these tutorials helpful for you. First of all, I'd like to thank my patrons who help support and help me keep these videos going. And so they chose the topic for today to paint an Aurora painting with some trees and uh, this will be a lot of fun and we'll see what happens. I don't know how it's gonna turn out, but I'm excited and we'll get to do this together. Before we get started, I'd like to share a couple of announcements with you. First one is me and my wife partnered with Compassion in Action and we're going on a mission trip to bring art materials to the kids in Nicaragua and we'll be teaching um, about 60 kids and, and uh, having fun with them painting and bringing some art materials to them. If you'd like to learn more about that, please be sure to check that out. And if you're interested in sponsoring and helping donate, um, that will help and change the lives of these kids please check out the link down below. We're going there on March 14th and we're gonna be there about a week. Also, once we're back, I'll be showing you a video of how it all went and how you guys bless these kids' lives. So that's gonna be exciting, stay tuned for that. It's happening less than a month. And then another news is if you have purchased any of my products from my website or my painting academy, please let me know what you think in the survey. There's a link down below. And also you'll be getting, if you filled that out, you'll be getting a code of 20% off um, for your um, time that you spent filling that out. And let me know what you guys think about the course and my products. Thank you, thank you guys for all your support and help. I'm really excited to be here and to be able to reach so many people around the world um, with this YouTube you know, that we have here available that we can help each other out and, and share our talents and gifts and encourage each other and it's really exciting. So I thank you for all your support and if you haven't subscribed yet, please be sure to subscribe and click the bell button where every time I post a video, it will notify you and um, you get to see it on your spare time. All right, let's go over the materials needed for today. First of all, for brushes, we need a couple of these blending brushes right here. Okay, a couple of them. One for laying down the paint first, and then the second one will work dry to blend everything in. We need a couple of these artist love brushes. This is a number eight right here, and this is a number four. We need a quarter inch brush, flat brush right here. If you don't have this, that's fine. Use a half an inch flat brush. I'm using this because I'm going to use this for my stars and I'll show you um, how I use this smaller one, okay? But any, any flat brush will work. Uh, make sure it's kind of skinny, you know, on top. And then any round detail brush for the details. For paint, we're gonna use acrylics and I'm gonna use some of the colors from my new 24 Premium Colors acrylic paint set. I'm gonna use some of the colors from here and I'll show you exactly which ones I'm using. And then also for my five colors, we're gonna use one of the colors, the titanium white right here. And because um, I ran out of white and white usually goes quickly. So if you're interested in bigger white tubes, they're also available on my website. Um, but any, any kind of paint you have available will work, but that's what we're using today. From the 24 set, we need lemon yellow, emerald green, viridian, cerulean blue, phthalo blue, violet, and lamb black. We need palette, and I'm using a palette paper and a palette knife to mix your paint. We need a jar of water, some paper towels, and I'm using a 16 by 20 inch canvas here, but any canvas will work. And then any plastic cup, I'm using one of my old caps from a varnish, but any plastic little cup will work. Um, what I'm gonna do here is put some titanium white and a little bit of water and mix it and make it more watery um, because that's how I'll show you how I add my little stars in the sky. And if you have this, a hairball dryer to dry out your first coats. Okay, let's get to it. Let's start mixing our paint first on the palette and we're gonna make it, you know, we're gonna make it like a neon green and then transition into like this phthalo blue and then, um, you know, some color of the 
violet and pink maybe um, and we're just gonna have fun with the sky you know the sky it doesn't have to look exactly like mine and it could turn out a little bit different but that's okay because uh, you know how Aurora it's always shaped differently in, in, in a unique way so yours will turn out different and it'll be great and a lot of fun so let's just enjoy the process and take our time and and have fun so I like to start with titanium white and create about five shades of color so let's pick our white and add about the first you know we'll add about about this much and I'm gonna cover about like this much from here this will be where our horizon line will be and then cover the whole sky here so keep that in mind um, so now I'm gonna add about you know a little more here and, and maybe maybe less as we go maybe a little less right here a little less here and then one more right there not too much okay so we have more here now always close the lid so that paint won't dry up in there okay now let's pick up the lemon yellow and add a little bit in here very small amount a little bit more in here like this much and maybe a touch in here like that that's good enough right there okay now the emerald green let's add a little bit in here and a little bit more in here something like this and then the viridian we're going to add a touch in here and a little bit in here okay Serene blue we're going to add a touch right in here and a little bit more in here like this and then maybe let's add a little bit in here phthalo blue let's add a little bit in here and a little bit in here like this and then violet let's add it right in here about this much okay and let's mix everything and see what it gives us it'll be from lightest going into darkest right let's just mix everything obviously we don't need to mix these but the ones we have here and then see if we need to add more and we will okay also I'd like to remind you all these materials my acrylics and my paints brushes and uh, you know everything I'm using there's links to them down below in the description if you're interested and curious but any other materials you have available will work and uh, just have fun and it should be just fine palette knife and let's start with the lightest color this one right in here quickly mix all that in it's gonna give us a bright yellow okay like that next should be a nice nice neon color neon green okay mix it all in there you go and bunch it up like this next And by the way, I like my palette knife to be, you know, very um, like uh, bendy because if it's too stiff, it's kind of hard to do this, you know, to take the paint from both sides and really mix. But when it's like very easy and bendable, it's uh, easy to blend actually. 
So I found a really good one, and I, this one I had for many years. It's lasting a good time. You could see it's starting to turn a little bit darker each time we mix our colors here. That's what we want. Next. And it's okay if you carry some of the paint from the other into the next color. It's totally fine. All right. You can see it slowly transitioning to the blue, but still has that green in there. Okay, next, maybe even take part of that like this and then mix it in with our next color. should do it and you don't need to spend too much time on trying to you know really make it perfect because all these colors we're gonna lay them out and blend it all in and so they might turn out a little different but that's okay next I'm gonna take part of this like we did with that like this much and mix it in right here it should give me a nice darker blue Okay, and then same thing, take that and mix it in here, and we're not going to really mix this color, the violet, that's good right there, okay, so you could see it's going from darkest to lightest, all right, now we, I'm looking at this, and if I need to add any more color, I will. But for now, as the first color, uh, as the base color, you know, I'm looking at it, and I think I'll, I'll, I like it as it is. It's smooth transition going on here from lightest to darkest. I think it's ready to be laid down, and then we're going to add more layers. It's all about adding layers, okay? So let's do that. Let's clean our palette knife so the paint won't dry up like this really quickly. Something like that. It doesn't have to be perfect. Now let's pick up one of our blending brushes and the water and dab it in the water all the way. And then squeeze it out. Not all the way though. You want water in there. But you don't want it to be dripping. So like this, okay? And now, since we have a little bit of water in our brush, now we can lay the colors down. And basically I want it to be pretty green right here and light transition into the you know violet and the darker blues up here okay that's the plan and let's let's do that let's um, and every time every time um, I say I'm dabbing my brush in the water basically what I'm doing is I'm just dabbing it like this lightly okay and you know making sure I don't have too much water, but just dabbing it like this and then picking up more paint. All right, so whenever I'm saying I'm dabbing my brush in the water, that's what I'm doing, okay? So I'm gonna start off with the lightest color here. So I squeezed the water out so there won't be too much water. And I'm gonna start with the lightest color here. And I'm gonna, you know, pick the color up like this and start off with you know, somewhere right in here. Now I'm gonna dab my brush in the water because I feel it's a little rough, right? So I'm gonna dab it in the water like this and then pick up a little more paint and spread that color down. See how smooth that feels? You want it to feel a little smooth, but you don't want too much water. So keep that in mind. So you want it to feel smooth. And I'm gonna cover it in the bottom it's okay now I'm gonna dab my brush in the water again pick up my next color and quickly lay my next color on some of the areas right in here so maybe right there and then maybe right in here going up you know who knows 
something like this. Now I'm going to dab my brush in the water and pick up some more and blend that in. It should ap apply smoothly on the canvas. Don't worry about, you know, don't lay too much paint on your canvas. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water again, pick up my next color and let's add that right in here. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water lightly, pick up my green and I'm going to add it right in here. Okay, I'm going to dab my brush in the water and add that green right in here like this. All right, now I'm going to dab my brush in the water again, pick up my next color, this transition into blue and add it right on the bottom like this. Okay, on the bottom. I'm going to dab my brush in the water. I'm going to pick up my next color and add some blues. Let's add some blues. Randomly, let's add some blue right in here. Okay, something like that. Now I'm going to dab my brush in the water, pick up my next color and add it right on top right here and then maybe some in here. That's good enough right there. Dabbing my brush in the water. Now we're going to the darker colors and let's add it right on top. Okay. And maybe some in here. Who knows? Mix it all and there you go. And then dabbing my brush lightly in the water and taking that violet, beautiful violet. Let's add it right in here, that violet. Let's just add it all in there. You can see my brush is smooth, but it's not showing through my, maybe mix these together. Okay, that's good enough right there. Now I'm gonna quickly blend this in. So I'm gonna put my brush down, right? And I'm going to pick up my second blending brush and I'm going to work dry. I'm going to work dry and you can see it's fluffy and dry. And so I'm going to quickly blend it really quick. It is this part. Just take away the brush strokes. This doesn't have to be perfect. This is the first layer and I'm barely pressing the canvas and I'm swirling and pulling the paint upwards. And if a little bit of the darker, you know, colors come down, that's totally fine. You know, like for example, right here, it doesn't have to, you know, be perfect, but we want to make it nice and smooth. And so I'm, you know, lightly pressing and working on one area at a time. All right. Even if you bring some of the darker ones down, that's fine. dabbing lightly and swirling. Since my paint is wet, it works nicely, but not it's not too wet. So sometimes you might need to practice a little bit, but once you get the technique down, you know, you'll, you'll really have a lot of fun. It makes working with acrylics a lot easier. So you can see, I'm just going around and lightly having fun and blending all those colors in as smooth as I want to. Okay. Blend all of it in. Some areas could be darker, like for example here. I'm not gonna spend too much time there. I like it dark. There you go. And there you have it, a 
nice first layer of our sky is covered there you go we have a nice smooth transition from light to dark and now we're gonna let this dry and I'm going to clean my brushes so they won't sit in the water too long and then um, we'll finish drying the painting and then we're gonna start adding details okay my brushes are clean and I have a new water and I quickly dried my first layer it's pretty much dry you could see um, now it's totally up to you if you like it smooth like this you could leave it because auroras could be like this smooth too you know the transition from like we're gonna have our landscape be you know about up here so a lot of this is going to be with snow or other you know things up in here but from here on up it's going to be all sky right so it's totally up to you if you want to add details on here i'm going to add a few more colors and details um, right here in the back and have it fade out you know a little bit to make it more interesting so um, i'm going to pick up my number four dab it all the way in the water soak it up you know and so it could run be damp and then squeeze it like this and that will and then i also added the lemon yellow and emerald green here and i'm going to mix those two together i want it to be more intense you know like this i want it to be very bright like that okay you can see it's super bright green And so that color we're going to um, play with and then a couple other colors that we have here so um, you could see I have some blue left I'm gonna um, you know bring them closer here so I'm gonna put this one up here and then maybe bunch this one up put it right in here and then because I might use some of this leftover right here paint okay so let's play with what we got here and then if I'm going to add more paint, I will. But let's, let's uh, start off with this li uh, light green. Now I'm going to clean my palette knife like I showed you so that paint won't dry up like this really quick. And now our brush, remember it's damp. And I'm going to take some of this color right here. Since my brush is damp and has a little bit of water, it feels nice and smooth you could see okay so now I'm gonna start and this is where you decide where you want that neon green to shine so it's totally up to you I'm gonna add a little bit right in here um, and I'm gonna you know maybe go up a little bit on the side and I think I'm gonna have it fade out like right in there So since my brush is damp, it works nicely. So I think I'm gonna have it come down like this and I'm just gonna pull the paint and blend it all in. Maybe swirl this area. Blend it all in with your background color. Okay, like that. And let's bring that light green over like this. All right, so I'm going to take it again. I'm going to dab my brush lightly in the water because water helps, you know, to be able to blend it in with your background color. And so I'm going to probably have it come down right in here. And play around with it I think I'm gonna bring it down all the way here all right And I think I'm gonna add a little bit in here. And dab my brush lightly in the water again so it can run smoothly. Take some of this green right here. 
and let's continue and let's add you know another green right in here and have it fade out something like this So I think I'm going to add some of this green up in here a little bit so it could be more, the colors can stand out a little more. So maybe some in here randomly. And yours could be different, you know, the way you blended yours, it doesn't have to look like mine because, um, you know, our ours are always different. So. Play around, create your shapes where, where you want your aurora to glow and to stand out, okay? So I think I'm gonna add maybe a little bit more right in here and then I'll stop with this color for now. Bring it down. Okay, that's good enough for now. We might come back and play with this color again, but let's continue, so I'm gonna Dab my brush in the water and then dab it on a paper towel so I won't have too much water. And now I'm gonna, let's take, let's take this color right here. See this? Um, let's maybe take part of this and let's mix this bluish, right? Tra transition from this to this. Let's just uh, make sure you don't have too much. So I'm gonna dab my brush in the water so I have not too much of this color. All right, and so now in some of these areas, I really want to darken. For example, I really want to make this a little bit darker, right? So I'm gonna lightly go around and add this area a little bit darker where I added my, you know, the yellow right on top of it. And then maybe have it some connected up in here. Maybe it goes up like this. Who knows? So I'm gonna take more of this color and I'm gonna make it a little more darker. I really want to make this area stand out. Okay. Okay, so maybe that was a little too much. That's okay. I'm going to go back to this color, color and dim it down a bit. You see how that works? And dim it down. Okay, so let's continue playing with this color here and I want to add some more of this right in here maybe there's one maybe it goes out like this and comes back in here and you know who knows okay and then here I'm gonna use this color I don't want it to be too dark here. Something like this, okay? Maybe some in here. Have fun with it. You know, make sure it's evenly balanced, you know, step back and take a look if you like it. Maybe in here I want to add a little bit. Maybe it goes down here. Our horizon line is going to be somewhere around here. So let's make this area a little bit darker. Maybe this color. And blend it out. 
into the sky like this. Okay, my brush is drying, so what I'm going to do is dab it in the water. Okay, dab it, and then the, onto the paper towel, like this, so it won't be too wet. And then I'm going to continue blending. You see how nice that works? Blend it with our background color. Okay, so I'm gonna take more of this color and then let's add some mix that in a little bit because we're going a little bit higher into the sky. So I'm thinking I'm going to I'm going to take this area actually away. I want to make it smoother. Like this. I'm going to make this a little bit darker. You can see. Dab my brush lightly in the water. And then I'm going to add a little bit of this blue. Now, since I'm going higher, I'm making I'm going each time a little bit higher, you know, with a darker color. I mean, so I'm gonna blend that out up into the sky, like this, something like that. Dab my brush in the water, and then dry it out onto the paper towel. So. Um, it's not too wet and then it's not um, too dry. You'll feel it on the canvas. When it starts to really be dry, you'll feel it. You want, you want to make sure it's feeling a little bit soft on your canvas. Okay, so something like this and I'm taking a look and seeing if I like that and maybe here I want to add that little darker blue for fun. You know, make this area stand out. Um, and then here, maybe let's add that blue. And I think what I'm going to do here is I think I'll split some of these areas in here. Maybe not too much. I kind of like that soft transition right here. I'm gonna leave that there. But I decided to add it right in here a little bit. So I feel my brush is a little dry, so I'm gonna dab it lightly in the water and then dab it onto my paper towel so that I won't have too much water. And I'm gonna lightly go around where I added that blue and blend those colors in with my background. And let it naturally, you know, carry itself wherever it needs to go like that, okay? Okay. And then, I think I'm gonna use this dark blue. Get my brush lightly in the water. And I think what I'm gonna do here is Add that blue right in here. Maybe some in here. You know, you want to split it up evenly split those clouds up a little bit, but not, you don't want to overdo it. Make sure your colors are not too intense. 
you want to lightly add those highlights in, in your sky. Okay. So maybe here I'm going to blend that blue in right in here. I'm going to dab my brush lightly in the water and go around the edges and softly blend everything in. And you decide where you want it, yours to be, okay? You decide, you know, eyeballing it and seeing if I like it. If I don't, I will change things up a bit. Okay, so um, I'm gonna clean my brush out a little bit. And then I think what I'm going to do is add this green. Remember this green right here? I'm going to add a little bit of it right in here because this area is a little bit too yellow here. I want to create. You know, make it look a little bit more interesting. Okay. So here I'm going to darken this area. I want it to be a little dark on this side. Maybe even on the bottom right in here. Okay. And blend those out. Something like that, okay? Let's mix violet. I want to add a little bit of pink, kind of like a colorful, um, you know, color also in our um, sky. And I decided to add a touch of violet and white. So I'll show you exactly the amount and everything. So right here, a touch of violet and some white. Let's mix those in. It's gonna give us a nice bright violet color. Something like this. And I'm going to add a little bit of more violet on the side just in case we need to use it. Um, let's just see what we can do with this violet color. So, um, first of all, let's pick up this violet like this. Remember my brush is damp. I don't want to take too much paint, okay? Not too much. And then I'm going to decide where I want some of this violet to be, um, you know, in my sky. You can choose, okay? So, let's add the violet maybe right in here. Somewhere in here and then maybe in here. go up and lightly blend it out okay blend it out like this upwards okay continue playing with that violet let's add it in here I want to make this area completely violet I'm going to 
add some color in my sky. Maybe it goes up and fades out right in here somewhere. Okay, continue. Maybe in here, let's add some of this color and let's pull it upwards. lightly okay not too much so i'm gonna dab my brush lightly in the water and then onto my paper towel so i don't have too much water and then continue playing with this color okay so maybe there's one right next to that goes up like this maybe it's a little bit sharper like that see how we added that right there we don't want to do that too much though on some areas, that's totally fine. Makes it look interesting. So maybe here, I'm gonna add that pink with my green. some of this pink in like that maybe in here bring it down a little bit like this okay let's continue and I think I'm gonna add some in here very lightly and gently. I want to clean out some of the green a little bit. That's what I'm doing. Making this pink and my sky stand out a little more. But make sure you blend everything so it won't look too sharp. Okay. Dab my brush in the water and then dry it out on a paper towel and pick up more of this color. And I think I'm gonna have it oh, a little too much, so I dabbed it in my paper towel and then I think I'm gonna have it come down here and let it go down. I want to go up and down, you know, so that to create that nice streaky effect. brush in the water again let's add some on this side I don't want to make this side empty dry my brush on a paper towel and pull the paint a little bit up like this Blend 
everything in like this. Okay. And I think one more right in here. Lightly. something like this. Now I'm going to dab my brush lightly in the water and then I'm going to try to bring some of this pink and connect some of these this area right here so that it'll be a smoother transition. Since my brush has a little bit of water and a little bit of this color it blends in nicely. Okay, and now I'm going to mix a little bit of this purple, right, or violet, and mix it in with the white. I want to make it a little bit darker. Violet, like this. Something like that, and then I want to really bring out some of these a little bit more and then dab my brush lightly in the water and blend that color out Doing the same thing. I want to add it right in here on this side. So dab my brush in the water again and dry it out on a paper towel and then blend this color that we just added with our background so it won't be too strong. Okay, we don't want it to be too strong. <clears throat> Continue doing the same thing. I'm going to add some right in here. This just makes it, you know, more interesting when we add these little details. Dab my brush slightly in the water, more of this color, and then maybe right in here. Clean this up a little bit, make it a little darker. Add that right in here. Have it fade out like this. Down my brush lightly in the water. Let's continue.
make some of them look interesting. So now just the purple. And I'm gonna make this a little more purple here. So I'm gonna switch my brush to number eight right here. And I'm gonna dab it in the water all the way and use just the purple here that we have. Okay, my brush is nice and damp. You can see that. I wanna add this purple on some of the top area right in here. Make it a little bigger. up like that and then let's continue adding some right in here maybe and fade it out okay we'll add a little bit in here it's all gonna dry up and look smoother And a little bit in here. Okay, something like that. Now you could use one of your blending brushes to smooth everything out if you want. Okay, so let's continue. Let's pick up our number four and just the white right here, straight out of the tube. And our number four brush, we're gonna do the same idea, same technique with a little bit of white, but we're gonna highlight some of them you know, and make some of them stand out a little more. For example, like right here, I wanna add, like maybe there's a cloud or something right here going on, you know, who knows? And then maybe it fades out somewhere in here. Maybe it goes up like this a little bit. Okay, with the white and your damp brush, we are going to add some more detail. So here, I wanna make this area a little brighter. And then here, maybe it connected in here and with the white this is a lot of fun because there's no right or wrong of how to get your auroras right you know what I mean connect some of them separate some of them you decide you are the artist so I'm going to Connect this a little bit in here and then really make this area a little bit brighter. Yeah, my brush in the water pick up more paint and continue
So I'm going to dab my brush slightly in the water and pick up more white and then I'm going to bring this up like this. my brush in the water so I won't have too much white dry it out on the paper towel like this and then with a little bit of white I'm going to blend those in with my background color and then pressing a little bit harder to blend that the white in with my other color here so I'm not going up too high with the white but enough to make it stand out okay and so maybe do that you know in here and have it fade out like this dab my brush in the water and then lightly I'm gonna add that effect in here and blend it out so it won't look too sharp I'm going to dab my brush slightly in the water, clean it out on a paper towel, and work dry because I have some white a little bit in there. I'm going to dim this out a little bit. So maybe pick up more white. And let's add it right where we... Added the dark one. And blend it out with your background. Okay, something like that. All these little highlights and details will make your painting stand out. And then here, I think I'm gonna add some white right in here and have it kind of swirl up lightly like this. Okay, maybe clean it out a little bit. something like that make this very bright in here with the white white is makes everything stand out
something like that. I want to darken this area. I really like it. Um, so I'm going to take this blue. I like this right here. I like that. But I want to make it a little darker. And then in here, you know, it kind of flakes off into the sky. Okay. So I'm going to clean my brush because I don't want too much of that dark color. Dry it out on the paper towel. And then take maybe this lighter color here. And then I'm going to blend it out around the edges. Like this. Okay. And so now I'm going to use this, remember this lime green we mixed with a little bit of water. And I'm going to go over some of the where the white where we added the white and and really make some of this stand out a little more so I'm gonna randomly add it with my white you know blend it in lightly like this go around your white slightly in the water I'm not taking too much but enough enough to make it stand out some of them a little bit more green here maybe in here draw a few more details here I'm gonna pick up my let's let's pick up this blue right right in here you mix it in with this green I want to really connect some of these you know so I'm gonna dab my brush slightly in the water and onto the paper towel so I won't have too much water I want to sharpen some of this and make them look for example here With the white, I'm going to add a little bit more, make this sharp and go, let it go in very, very small right here. I want to 
wanted to connect that line right there because we have these two couple of the sharp lines right here I want to be able to connect some of them Okay, once you're done adding some of the details, you don't need to spend too much time. You could step back and take a look if you like it. Right now it's um, looking okay, I'm okay with it right now. And once we add more detail to it, we could come back and add, you know, if we want to change something, we could come back to it, right? So, but let's continue so that we could see the picture come together nicely. And let's add some stars. So um, we have a cup here and titanium white, and I'm gonna add about, you know, not too much, about this much maybe of white right not too much and i'm going to add some water maybe about this much water in there and i'm going to mix it in with any of your you know any of your brush or anything that is you know old and fluffy kind of like this um, and i'm going to use this to kind of mix everything in with water okay so um you could see it's i'm still mixing i'm going to spend a little bit of time you know maybe couple minutes to really mix everything in with water so it could be nice and you know um, smooth but we don't want it to be thick we want it to be watery so the water can drip like this okay but we don't want it too much water because then the stars will not you know stand out as much so I'll show you how I do my stars all right so I'm gonna take my quarter inch brush here and I'm gonna dab it in about like this much, see? And dab it in halfway like this. And I'm gonna start, you know, sprinkling onto the, the canvas, about like five inches away from it, okay? I'm gonna lightly go and add as much star as I want, you could see. They are very small. I'm gonna add, I don't wanna add too much. I'm gonna add a little bit, you know. You don't wanna bring it down too much too. Um, mainly on the top. So I'm gonna dab it again into that little cup of water and white, and I'm gonna continue adding. Add as much as you want, but like I said, don't overdo it. Something like this. Okay. So now we can pick up our detail brush and dab it in the water. And then with the titanium white, we can create a couple of the bigger stars. So I'm going to swirl it and, and then I'm going to add some bigger ones let's let's pretend there's you know one right in here maybe there's one right in here a couple of the bigger ones but not everywhere Maybe one right in here. And, and one in here. That's good enough. I don't want to overdo it. So you could see it. I wanted just a couple of the bigger ones. Once I'm done with the detail brush, I like to clean it out like this in my water, going back and forth like this. No pressing down because you can damage the tip, right? So just in the water, clean it out, and then against the wall, like go upwards like that. Clean it out and then lay it flat on your paper towel so that 
it won't be in your water because that also bends your detail brush and damages it. So I like to take care of my brushes. All right, so for now, let's be done with the background. Like I said, once we add more detail, we can come back and add more things to the sky if we want to, right? So let's just continue and add our landscape and some trees. Okay, so now remember these colors? I'm gonna take all the colors that I have left here, take the, you know, so that it won't go to waste. And um, I'm, I added some white right here, you could see, and then black straight out of the tube. But I'm gonna mix this first so that I'll use up all my paint, mix it up and it should give us you know, like a, this will be for snow. Like a, almost like in between these colors, bluish green, you know. Whatever color it gives you, that's fine. We don't want it to be dark though. Right there, okay. And then we've got titanium white and black straight out of the tube. Now what I'm going to do is take part of the black, a little bit, not too much, like this much. Maybe take part of this, mix that in. This will be for like our trees, far away trees. There you go. Now let's pick up our number four and dab it on the paper towel so it won't be too wet. And let's start off with this color that we have mixed, okay? Okay, and then let's draw out our shape of our landscape where it's gonna be. So you decide, okay? I want a little hill right in here, so I'm gonna have it probably this high, you know, and it's gonna come down maybe you know, about here. So I'm gonna bring it up here a little bit. And I'm gonna kinda create some faraway trees. Okay. So let's pretend there's some faraway trees. So I'm gonna continue using that and bring it down. And fade it out. So something like this, okay? So let's, so this is a hill, right? Let's create some taller ones here, taller trees here, like this. And then let's continue. And I wanna kind of bring you back down Bring it back down and then have it fade out right in here, something like this. And now I'm going to dab my brush into water so it can run smooth. And quickly I'm gonna dab some I'm gonna take dab it on the paper towel so I won't have too much water and I'm gonna correct some of this area right here maybe there's far away trees okay With this color Try to straighten this area up a little bit. And 
I think I'm going to bring them back up right in here somewhere. You choose where you want your trees to stand out, okay? I'm going to make them go up about this high. All right, and now I'm going to put my brush down in water and then pick up my number, four, my number eight and dab it on my paper towel so it won't be too wet like this. And now I'm going to use some of this color. Remember here, I'm going to dab my brush in water so it can run smooth. You can see it's a little wet and this will be like the snow. So let's just create some snow. Maybe there's it's the glow from the light hitting the snow here and randomly put it where you want your snow to be right with this color. And you can bring it all the way down, probably up to here, somewhere here. Okay, and now I'm going to use the leftover of this color and I'm going to mix these, play around with these colors. It doesn't have to be perfect. And I'm going to randomly cover and add this color in here. Maybe there's some in here. Dab my brush in the water. Use some of this color. Maybe it goes darker in here. And I'm going to lay the colors down first. And I'm going to use this dark one and let's cover this area. Dab my brush in the water. Our first layers we're covering. Okay, and once you covered your first layers, you could use your blending brush to smooth everything out. Okay, I'll show you what I mean by that. So one of your blending brush, brushes here and then let's just go back and forth and blend those in so it could, you know, be smooth, smooth transition. It's okay if some of them are sharp, but we want to take away the brush strokes. Okay, something like that. There you go. Nice and soft first layer of our snow on our ground here. And now we're starting to see the picture coming together, right? Um, but it's not there yet. We're gonna add more details right now. Now let's pick up our detail brush and um, mix it in with this gray. I don't want it to be too dark yet. I'm gonna swirl it and we're gonna create some far away trees, for example, right in here. Let's have this go up all the way up like this. Okay, and then maybe there's some branches that are coming up like this. Okay, that's good enough right there. Dab it, your brush, your detail brush in the water so it can run smooth. And I'm barely pressing the canvas. I'm gonna continue adding few far away ones maybe there there's one right here maybe there's one right in here that's going about this tall okay and then also add those branches in there You know, 
randomly at it. Um, but don't go all the way down. We're just shaping out our tree out first. So let's continue with water and this black mix, you know, like a dark gray color. Let's add far away ones right in here. Maybe this one goes about this high. Continue that same idea. Let's add one right in here. So these are far away. So I'm going to dab my brush in the water. Far away ones. Let's add one that's this high. And it has a bunch of little, very small branches like this. Okay, maybe there's one next to it. And then another one, a little smaller. Maybe it's a little thicker and I'm randomly adding the branches there. We're going to detail those in a bit. Let's add a few more taller ones. Maybe there's one right in here. Something like that. Cleaning my brush, I mean dabbing my brush in the water and picking up more color. Let's add some. something like that. You could see I'm not going all the way with the branches all the way down. I'm only doing it on top. These are our far away trees. Maybe there's one right next to him. His only friend. It's a little messy here, who knows? Okay, and then here, I'm not gonna add as much, so I'm gonna add a few more little ones far away. Dab my brush in the water so it can run smooth. And I want to add a few more far away ones. Maybe there's another one right in here. Okay, 
Okay, something like this. All right, before I continue adding more, I'm gonna clean my detail brush, put it down, and then I'm gonna pick up my number four, dab it on the, into the paper towel, so it won't have water at all. And it's damp, but it doesn't have water. And I'm gonna use this black with whatever color I have left, but I want it to be dark. Dark gray, how about that? Dark gray. Because these are still far away trees, so we don't want it to be too dark yet, okay? But we do want it to be dark uh, gray. All right, so remember this tree? I'm gonna use the tip of my brush and I'm gonna add some branches and leaves, but not everywhere. I, wanna, I want those branches to stand out. Um, those details. Okay, maybe there's some in here. You can see I'm not getting everything down. I'm only getting the top of the tree mainly. And I'm barely, lightly pressing. Maybe leave some of them, maybe some of them are aren't as um, covered, you know? Okay, let's, let's come up. And then as you get closer, obviously make it a little bit more darker. So some black and a little bit of this gray. See how nice that looks? I'm not covering all the branches that I um, added, but I'm also not going too far down. So let's continue here. They don't need to be perfect. You can make some of them even taller. Something like that. Okay, these are far away trees. Far away. So maybe this one, let's leave it a little bit more naked, not too much on this one. I like that you can see the branches there. Lightly, press lightly. And fade it out as you go down. Okay.
add a little bit of that dark on the bottom of these trees. Remember we added with that gray. Maybe the bottom is a little bit darker right in here. Not everywhere there though. So maybe right here and right here. Okay, that just makes it more 3D. Okay, let's continue. So we got, you know, the first sketches of our trees. And this time you can use the black. Straight out of the tube is fine. So I'm going to swirl it and add water. And I'm going to have one be right in here. And I'm going to have it be tilted. And I'm going to have it come up. Let's just say this high. Dab it in the water so it can run smoothly. Adding some more trees, we're getting closer. And so we're trying to make them look darker and thicker. A little bit, not too much. Okay, and then fade it out. Let's add a few branches, kind of how we did with the others. You know, randomly add them in there and maybe skip some. Dab my brush in the water. And then maybe I'm gonna add some flowy ones that kind of bend down a little bit like this. Make them look interesting, you know. Okay, something like this. That's good enough right there. Let's continue with the next uh, tree. And I think I'm gonna add it, the next one, I'm gonna go lower and I'm going to add it right in here. And I'm gonna go up about this high. Okay, go down. Now it's gonna probably cover some of the back trees, but that's okay. Okay, with the black and some water. And I want it to make it look a little thicker. Okay, a little thicker. Because it's closer. Okay, something like that. And do the same thing. Let's add some details to our branches here. You know, randomly add it like this, and then maybe here we'll have some of them a little bit bigger. And I'm barely pressing the canvas, okay? Barely pressing. And I'm gonna stop right about here. Something like that, okay? There you go, let's move on to the next tree. And let's add it, I wanna make one that is, you know, not as high, but is in between maybe, maybe like this. It goes down all the way here, so not as big but another one that is about this big, OK? 
chakra. And here, and all those beautiful little details. Maybe have this one come down a little bit like this. The branches are falling. All right, that's good right there. Let's continue. And let's add our biggest one. I'm going to add it right. So I'm going to add it right in between here like this. And I'm going to probably go high about this high. OK, somewhere there you choose. Down my brush in water. And this is going to be your thickest tree here. I'm probably going to bring it even lower, maybe about this low. You know, we'll, we'll work on the details of the, the bottom areas. Don't worry about that for now. And as you go up, make it skinnier, okay? Skinnier each time. And here, you know, obviously we're going to add all our little branches and details of our branches up in here. Then my brush in the water and continue adding. Your beautiful little details. And maybe you can stop right there somewhere. All right. All right, let's continue and add, I want to add another one. Let's add another one right in here, probably this high, maybe actually smaller, probably. This high, maybe this one's a skinny one, but it's up here somewhere. And it won't have that much branches. So I'm gonna have it come down here, maybe a few on this side and then like this and call it good like that. All right, next let's move on and add another one. I'm going to add this one probably right about this is where you decide Hmm, let's add it right in here, somewhere there. Hard decision sometimes, but take a step back, look at it, see, make sure it's, you know, balanced and it looks nice. 
But if you think you had enough trees, you don't need to add more. So I'm going to add branches like we did with the other ones. Have it fade out like this. It's good enough. And I think I think let's cover let's cover everything here first and then if we need to add more I'll add more okay but let's just do this first so I'm gonna clean my detail brush and I put it down and then I'm gonna pick up my number eight this time because well actually let's pick up our number four because uh, I want to get the little ones first right cover them doing the same idea so I'm gonna dry it out on a paper towel and I'm gonna use black this time black and number four and so I'm gonna start with this one and I'm gonna you know dab it on top like this and then kind of follow the pattern of your tree follow it you know and I'm barely pressing don't press too hard because it'll make blobs and your branches are gonna hide So about there, okay? Something like that. You want to add more of it on top. You want the top to really stand out. Like this, okay? That's nice. All right, let's do this one next. Something like that. Let's do this one as well. Why not? gets lower we're adding less and less okay something like that all right now we can put our number four down and let's do the three big ones so I'm gonna Squeeze the water out and then dab it on my paper towel, the num number eight brush. Okay, clean it out, make sure you don't have much water. Dry it out. And let's continue with this black. Don't pick up too much paint, but you can see I got it on both sides like this and I'm gonna dab it so I have enough paint, but not too much. So let's start off with this one. And let's lightly dab okay this is these are a little bit closer trees so they need to be a little more detailed but we don't want to you know cover all our branches we want them to stand out more so I'm gonna lightly follow my branch pattern something like that all right you could see it's faded it's not too much maybe on top a little more here make it look busy on on the tip here um, let's add a little bit more and that's good right there all right moving on let's do 
this one this one let's make it let's make this one dark okay so let's really cover this area and cover the middle more. And then less as you go down. Let's continue, maybe a little bit more right in here. That's good right there. And let's get our final one, our tallest one. Also cover it, follow your pattern, make it fluffy. So I'm going to add more black as I ran out. Okay, a little more black. And this is the fun part. Because now the picture is coming together and we can kind of see the image starting to appear, right? So as we go down, make sure you, you know, give some area for, you know, the light to shine through the tree. So you don't want to just cover the whole tree with this black, right? You want to kind of make it look fluffy. Change it up, you know, you don't, don't make it too similar. Make one side more, have more branches than the other. corners all right and now we can step back and take a look and see if we like the outcome and see if we want to add any more trees so I'm going to add a few more in here you more and call it good 
So that's going to be fine right there. I'm going to pick up my number four because it's the smaller one. Dab it in my paper towel so I won't have a lot of water. And use the black and lightly add the little details. And let it fade out like this. Okay. Maybe darken some of the far away ones with the black. Okay. All right. And now this is where, with a detail brush, I'm gonna use whatever color I have left. So um, let's use Cerulean Blue. Let's use Cerulean Blue. And white, so I'm gonna, with a detail brush, I'm gonna use a little bit of this white, Cerulean Blue and black. Let's mix that in like this. We'll get a lighter grayish blue, right? And let's go back and, you know, follow some of the patterns of, of our snow shadows. Okay. So, I dab my brush in the water and let's continue following the patterns and maybe even add some far away ones like this going up okay so I'm gonna dab my brush in the water and some far away ones who knows maybe Maybe there's a lot of them here. Okay, and I'm going to continue adding the shadows. So dab my brush in the water lightly. And remember this right here. Maybe some in here follow the fade it out. Follow your shadows. You know, maybe in here. You could use your finger if you want. It helps. I'm gonna connect this actually right in here all right something like that i'm going to put my detail brush down and i'm going to pick up my number four and you know do the same thing but maybe add the color a little bit darker okay so it could be dark darker gray and go over some of them and, you know, and you can use your finger, this part, you don't need to have it perfect, you know. 
make it look nice and rough. I'm gonna make that area darker actually. black in this area right here. paper towel and I want to make this darker area right here as smooth as you can but but don't worry if it's a little look if it's rough looking okay don't worry dab your brush in the water if you want to you know get that softer transitions. So maybe I'll add some black in here. Make these far away trees stand out a little bit more. interesting detail you can add the better it'll turn out to be so I'm gonna soften this area Maybe there's a few little branches. Or something, you know, on the floors here. Maybe little rocks peeking out, who knows. But 
they could be. I'm going to add a little bit more of this bluish green on some of these background here. We are almost done with adding our first, I mean, with this piece. I was going to say my first layers. And maybe with a detail brush and a little bit of black, let's draw some crooked little branches. Going next to this tree. Maybe there's one right in here. Demo brush in the water and add a few in here. And of course, you can also do the same thing and add some little skinny branches. You know, maybe some of them are, don't have um, you know, a, a lot of leaves on them. I usually do that to my closer trees because when things get closer you see more detail so and then maybe there's some in here
I'm gonna add one more in here with the detail brush for fun. And this is where you can go back and step back and take a look and see if you wanna add any more trees or details, branches, you know, things like that. So I'm gonna quickly add some fast branches here and have it fade out like this, okay? And pick up my number four and So you can see I spent a little bit of time detailing. I want the bottom to be a little bit darker than the sky. I want my aurora to stand out. So that's why I spent a little bit of time darkening things. Um, so basically uh, with the blue or um, the darker blue with black, okay? Um, so you spend as much time as you want. It's all little details now and it's all up to you now. So I'm gonna add like that all right and now I will you know step back and take a look and see if I like it if I don't I will work on adding more details so you can go back with your black you know and some water and really you know start to add in all those fine little details and shadows. Um, And maybe with this light green and your flat brush, whatever color you have left, you can go over on one side lightly. And go all the way to the top. Lightly, barely pressing. And fade it out like this so that you won't overdo it. Okay, I'll be done for today. You can come back, like I said, to the sky. Now you can detail, you know, shape out using those colors and add as much as you want detail to the background, to the trees, to the snow here, and have fun with this and see what you can create. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Thank you for being here and tuning in. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Take care and God bless.